Our next mineral is hornblende, although a more modern appropriate name for this is amphibole. Uh, I still typically teach it as hornblende. That's how I learned it. Um, this is a rock. This is multiple uh, crystals that are kind of grown together, and you can see there's some other crystals uh, in there, it looks like that's probably quartz. There might even be some some feldspars in here. But for the most part, it's this dark, dark mineral uh, that I want you to look at. And the name itself is kind of fun, uh, Hornblend. Uh, it's a German name. German miners kind of came up with the name, and it kind of means to, uh, to blind or to dazzle uh, when they'd see this. And it almost looks metallic, but it's, it's not. You get this up close. Uh, it's really a dark color that's just occasionally... Uh, flashy and and shiny and one of the neat things about this mineral and the way i tell it apart from augite or augite which is uh two of the harder minerals to kind of tell apart that we cover in this class uh is the way it's it's cleavage kind of breaks there's a good face right there i kind of look at that in fact let's get the magnifying glass up here um it doesn't the cleavage breaks not necessarily on a flat surface so it'll kind of break on these jagged surfaces, but it's still breaking along a single plane. It's almost like you're looking at a tiny, tiny staircase, and one step of the staircase is shining at you all at once. So it's kind of weird when you look at it. It's not intuitive, and it, it's shiny when you all at once when you think it shouldn't be shiny all at once, when you just kind of have a normal broken rock. Um, that's kind of the best way I can describe it. Look at the hand samples you have to see if you can kind of see this sort of fibrous texture. And that's, that's kind of the other thing is it's sort of forms in these fibrous uh, crystals and these elongated crystals that also set it apart uh, from the augite, which I'll uh, make a video on next. But on the augite, like you can see that crystal face. It's a nice, or sorry, that cleavage plane. It's a nice flat plane and it flashes at you all at once. There's one there. Uh, and it's just a little a little blockier where the horn blend or, or amphibole if you want to call it that uh, is a little more fibrous uh, but it's it's made up of, we consider this a mafic mineral and we'll talk about what that means once we get into igneous rocks but it's got heavier elements in it it's got iron it's got magnesium uh, and this is stuff you find in or this is a mineral you find more in mafic magmas that's magmas that are coming out of places like hawaii uh, and, and, and oceanic crust instead of places like uh, Mount St. Helens and continental volcanoes. But again, we'll talk about more of that when we get into uh, igneous rocks, but I just kind of want to introduce to you to what a mafic mineral looks like. They're typically a little bit heavier and a little bit darker uh, due to their, their heavier uh, elements that, that are in here. There's still a lot of this is composed of silica. There's still a lot of silicon and oxygen in this thing's chemical formula. So still heavy on the silicates, but uh, definitely some, some heavy elements being included in its chemical structure. So that is Hornblende, a.k.a. Uh, Amphibole.